Alphabetical order by last name. Open your bags up. Make sure you have uh, Hey everyone, today is a big day. It is day one of the training academy for the next recruit class. I'm so excited because every single week I'm gonna be bringing you exactly what they're doing, how they're training, what they're learning, and uh, it's gonna be an exciting journey. There's gonna be some hard weeks. There are going to be um, a lot of things that, uh, that you're gonna see that it shows what, what it takes to become a firefighter here at South Metro. So I've got all my gear back here in the back of the car, and uh, today we're gonna be going over some military protocol as well as uh, the recruits will be receiving their pride acts. So uh, we're gonna take you inside, let's go. This board is pretty neat. It uh, has all of the recruits' names and their pictures on it. And uh, so when people walk in to the JSF, they can see who this new class is and what their names are and try to put some faces to, to those names. And then over on this side, a lot of history because it has the previous recruit classes that have gone through. From this thing on, it is up to you. The recruits to carry, display, and maintain this axe in a condition that represents the collective pride of your academy. Right, please. Firefighter Scrayback, would you please present the axe to the class of 19 1. All right. The pride axe is going to be inspected at the beginning of each training week. Following the flag raising, the pride axe shall be carried in an approved manner and displayed at all times unless otherwise deemed a safety concern by the recruit training officers. The pride axe may only be left in its unattended in a safe location within the immediate vicinity of the recruits during physical training, drills, swimming, workout. We are actually watching the recruits working on some marching. Over here I have instructor slot right here next to me and uh, I want him to take us through, if he can, just explaining um, what they're working on right now. Right now they're practicing marching around the drill ground, getting their steps right, about faces, saluting, anything you can think of that would be part of marching. Whenever they move around in a group, whether it's for PT or drill ground activities, they keep them in their squads or platoons and march around to stay in formation. Talked to them this morning about who had any kind of marching experience. There's only a handful. So if you don't have marching experience, this can be a very difficult thing. Just getting rhythm and marching with a group where you have to be in cadence with your partner, the guy in front of you, behind you to the left of you. So right now they're just, they got the honor guard guys here to kind of push, trying to perfect their marching. So from here on out in Academy, they'll be expected to move around this way. And it also instills some discipline in them. Left, left, right, right, left. Showing them the little things are important with marching where you need to do this well, because if we can't trust you to march as a group, it's going to be hard to trust you on the fire. Left heel and right toe. And bring it in. Right, face. Nice. Just make it nice and snappy, as snappy as you can. I know the balance is kind of weird. You're getting used to boots. Give it a shot. Right, face. Right, face. Right, face. Left, face. Left, face. Much better. Up, out, face. Okay, with that one, it's a little trickier just because everybody has different length legs, different size feet and all of that. So from here, fold it one more time. Right here. 
So this is where the dexterity piece is like, don't drop it, but it doesn't have to be, this part doesn't have to be that pretty. You can see he just folds it over, trying to keep it nice and tight down there. Now, I don't like jerk, jerk, jerk kind of stuff. Like, he's got a good grasp of it, and we're trying to keep it taut. I walk in towards him, he stays where he is. So you can see, you get that tucked real nice. And then it's just gonna be walking. Put it on your shelf. When the stripes come up into the union, you cheat it in an inch or so. It's not oh. So go home and salute. Yeah, you have to look in the mirror. Your body. You bend, you bend the wrist. Yeah, the wrist gets bent. The wrist so is kind of in a, in a, even if it's gentle. And you go, tell you what, people that get a tight salute, it looks so good. Okay, guys, we're down on the drill ground. This is instructor Favero, and uh, he's going to give us a look through the room where the recruits have all of their gear. And I'm going to have him take the wheel and explaining everything. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. So this area is kind of just their safe haven where they can come in and vent and uh, talk amongst themselves. And then this is also where we store all of their bunker gear. We give each recruit two sets of bunker gear. Um, and the idea is that with our cancer prevention policy that we hold very uh, high standard and, and we're, we obtain to that very well. They have each recruit will get two sets of gear. Um, they're in brand new Scott uh, air packs. These have never been used and, and we issue that to each recruit and they'll have that for the entirety. Um, helmets, multiple sets of gloves, all the PPE is, is uh, up to par as far as cleaning and inspection. Uh, and about eight weeks into it, they'll get their first assigned um, set of bunker gear with their name on it and everything. Uh, and then at graduation, they'll get their second set. So they have two sets now that has been passed down um, to kind of get sweaty in and to burn in. And then when we need to switch out, we have a backup set after a burn day or something like that. So it's a little tight in here with uh, 23 recruits, but we also hold this to a high standard as well. As you can see, everything's in its place where it needs to go. No different than a fire apparatus from location to hand tools, to power tools, to ladders. So we try to instill those lessons throughout Academy, uh, keeping all those small details in check, uh, trying to eliminate issues in the future. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. So you guys, you guys get the grasp of that. And it's just an everyday reminder for them to go out and give us an all-in attitude and an all-out effort. That's all we really ask, and we can work with mistakes. This is where we make mistakes. We wanna make them here. So when they go online in 16 weeks, um, it's, it's an attitude of being excellent. So today is day number two in the Recruit Academy. I came down this afternoon and as you can see over on the drill grounds, they are practicing getting on and off their bunker gear. And they are gonna be doing this for a majority of the afternoon. Instructor Diggs may have mentioned, but when the tones go off, every firehouse has a timer. You have to be dressed and in the rig in 90 seconds or less. Whether you're in the bathroom, taking a shower, or you're in bed. So that's why we drill on this all the time down here and time it and do it. And we need it needs to be put on proper so we can maintain the safety of ourselves, for our families, and for the people we're going in to actually make a difference for, right? But we still want to go home when the ship change comes. Forty-two. 
thinking about what you're doing, you'll actually go faster what you're doing. <laughs> Make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Today's the first day they got their PPE. And a lot of them haven't been in bunker gear before because this is their first time in the fire academy and they've only been in EMS. So we're getting them comfortable getting into their bunker gear. It's a process. South Metro has a very high standard of how fast we need to respond to calls. And that starts today in day two of the academy of learning how to get your gear on, how to do it right, how to do it correct. They've got their bunker boots. They've got their pants, their jacket, radio strap, radio, hood, helmet, and structure gloves. That's what we're working on today. Next week we'll work into where we'll incorporate their SCPA with it, to where it goes for all the way through breathing air in the SCBA and make it two minutes to have that done.